Hello and thanks for streaming with us on March 31st in Afghan Voice Agency. On Tuesday, delegates from participating and supporting countries as well as representatives from international organization at the heart of Asia Istanbul Process Conference held in Dushanbe issued a three points approach to promote peace and security in Afghanistan. Delegates announced in a declaration that they support the ongoing efforts for the peace process and the continuation of the negotiations between the Afghan government and the Taliban. The declarations calls on Afghanistan's neighboring nations to maximize their efforts for the success of the peace process in a country. While recognizing the importance and contribution of neighboring countries and regional and international partners, we call upon them to maximize their efforts for the success of peace process, raised the declaration. The declaration states that long-term stability and prosperity in the region require peace and security in Afghanistan. A special representative for Afghanistan Reconciliation, Zalma Khalizad, has wrapped up a four-day visit to Turkey to discuss the upcoming Istanbul Summit on Afghanistan peace process. In a statement issued by the U.S. Embassy in Turkey, the planned Istanbul Summit is meant to help Afghan negotiators accelerate their efforts to end the war in Afghanistan and agree to a political settlement and a permanent ceasefire. The conference will complement peace talks currently ongoing in Doha, the statement read. Khalizad, who was in Turkey from March 26 to 29th, met with a number number of Turkish officials during this time, including presidential advisor Ibrahim Kalin and Deputy Foreign Minister Sadat Onal. A joint military base of foreign and Afghan forces in eastern Khost province was targeted in a rocket attack by Taliban insurgents on Tuesday. Sources said the Taliban confirmed it fired off rockets at the old airport in Khost city. The group claimed that the attack left heavy casualties and a financial loss to the forces stationed in the airport. A Taliban spokesman released a video that shows two militants launching rockets. Rockets hit exact targets, the Taliban said. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said Tuesday that a meeting on Afghanistan earlier this month in Moscow has given fresh momentum to stall negotiations in Doha on the settlement of the Afghan issue. Speaking at the ninth ministerial conference of the heart of Asia Istanbul process in Dushanbe, Tajikistan, Lavrov said Afghanistan is going through a difficult period of its development. The military and political situation in the country is still very alarming. Terrorist attacks are staged frequently and seasonal increase in combat activities cannot be ruled out. In this context, it is necessary to do everything possible to reduce the level of violence, he said. President Bashar al-Assad has described the deprecation of the Syrian pound against the U.S. dollar as a foreign plot, calling on all strata of the society to stick by the state joint forces and counter the slide of the currency. Speaking at the weekly cabinet meeting in Damascus on a Tuesday evening, Assad said that Syria has been able to make unprecedented achievements in its fight against the economic terrorism being waged by the Western countries, particularly the United States. He said the collapse of the Syrian pond is an onslaught launched from abroad against the war-torn country. A total of 25 positions came under attack by the Saudi-led coalition in Yemen today, according to a news website. Citing a security source, the Peru Hossian Solarullah website reported that coalition forces carried out 21 airstrikes in Mari province and four in Hajj province. The source added that the attacks negate allegations that the coalition forces are working for peace solutions. The coalition has yet to comment on the claims. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.